Now listen, this is part two of how sorcery runs the world. In my previous video, I was talking about the founder of Big Pharma, and I was talking about the pharmaceutical companies. All right, now check this out. I'm gonna give y'all some more information, and I hope they don't take this video down because you guys need to know this information. Now I'm gonna read Revelations chapter 18, verses 23 again. Your merchants were the world's most important people. By your magic spell, all the nations were led astray. Or in the KJV version, it says, by your sorceries, all the nations were deceived. Sorcery literally runs the world. And by the world's most important people, you know they're not talking about God's people. You're, they're talking about the rulers of this world. They're talking about Satan's children. They're talking about um, the people that are involved with the occult, the sorcerers, the witches, the warlocks. Amen. Listen. Now, again, in the, uh, in the Apocrypha, which has all the scriptures and all the books of the Bible that were removed from the Holy Bible. Understand, and I'm going to say this again, there is a reason, as you read these scriptures, there is a reason why these scriptures were removed from the Holy Bible. There's a reason they did not want people to have this information, because people would be too woke if they had this. Now, there's no way that you can de uh, deny this stuff. These are things that have been prophesied thousands of years ago. So for people to ignore and reject this knowledge and reject Christ Jesus, it's pure ignorance. It's just pure rebellion. There's a spirit behind that. Now, check this out. In the book of Jubilees, chapter 11, verses 2, it says, And the sons of Noah began to war on each other, to take captive and to slay each other, and to shed the blood of men on the earth, and to eat blood, and to build strong cities and walls and towers, and individuals began to exalt themselves above the nation and to found the beginning of kingdoms. Now, as you can see, satanic worship has not just become normalized, but also the worship of oneself. So everybody that's not serving Christ Jesus, they're either worshiping the devil or they're worshiping their, themselves. But honestly, if they're worshiping themselves, they're also worshiping the devil because they're not worshiping Christ. There's two kingdoms, the kingdom of light or the kingdom of darkness. You're either serving one or the other. There is no in between, whether you want to think so or not. And it says, um, and to shed the blood of men on, on the earth and to eat blood. In some of my previous videos, I talk about how sorcerers and how the rulers of this world that are in covenant with these fallen angels, that are in covenant with the marine kingdom, that are in covenant with these demonic spirits. How they sacrifice children, they sacrifice people, and they prefer to sacrifice people and to kill people uh, prematurely. Because when you have the blood of somebody that died prematurely, that demon or that demonic spirit, that fallen angel, they get empowered by that blood. Because if that person or that child died prematurely, that blood has a greater life source and that demon has to be empowered so that they can now empower that sorcerer with money, power, and fame. And the kind of power that's given to them that can deceive nations, the kind of power and control that's given to them where now they can keep people under their spell. And as you can see, majority of the world has fell under that spell and they're not even aware of it. They don't even know that they're under a spell. They don't even know that their souls are ensnared. They don't even know that they're being enslaved. Now check this out. And this is gonna blow your mind too. It says in the um in the last sentence, right, in Jubilees chapter eleven, verses two, it says at the end of the verse, and to teach their sons war, and they began to capture cities and to sell male and female slaves. It says in Matthew chapter twenty four how in these end times it will be as as of the days of Noah. In these end times, it will be as of the days of Noah. It says, and to sell male and female slaves, sex trafficking, literally. It's right here in the in the, um, in the Apocrypha. It's right here in the book of uh, Jubilees, chapter 11, verses 2. Sex trafficking. they sex trafficking children. Now, when you expose this stuff or when you complain or be like, how are all these children ended up missing? How are all these children, thousands of children, tens of thousands of children that at schools are ending up missing? Why is nobody getting arrested? Because you have to understand these rulers of the world and these sorcerers, they're above the law. They're running everything. Law enforcement ain't running nothing. Amen. They're above law enforcement. So the people that are running these sex trafficking businesses, whoever they are, these sorcerers, the rulers of this world, they're not going to get caught. They're not going to go to jail. Why? Because they're above the law. It's literally right here in the Apocrypha. Matthew chapter 24, in the end times it will be as the days of Noah. Now listen, I say this not to scare nobody, but to open your guys' eyes. Because I want you to be aware of what's out there. And I want you to know this war, this battle that we're in, it's a spiritual battle. It's the kingdom of light against the kingdom of darkness. Now understand something, this war, this battle has already been rigged in our favor. But to claim and receive that victory, you have to accept Jesus Christ. You have to accept Yeshua HaMashiach. Outside of him, there is no other savior. Amen. I love y'all and God bless.